Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how you can calibrate your scanner and scan an object on the dual axis RoboPoint turntable. In this video we are going to calibrating the scanner and then scan an electrical component for a sample. I'm in this part. Uh, scan this part automatically on this RoboPoint turntable. This is an electrical component, it's a plastic part and it is for my job and I'm going to scan it and then reverse engineer it to make a plastic mold uh, from this part. It has two side surface, the front surface and the back surface but for reverse engineering I don't need its back surface because the, the, uh, its back surface is an offset and thickness from its front surface so I only scan its front surface and uh, use it for the further processes okay now for a starting uh, first let's turn on the row point turntable by uh, pressing its button for some few seconds it is a starting and it is returning to its home position Now it is ready to be connected via the PC. Okay, in the PC, I first I connect on the GUI control. You can see the turntable is connected, and uh, I don't see it is visible in the video or not. The LED is not blinking anymore. Now it is ready. First, let me rotate it manually as a demonstration. Yes, it is working well. And reset it to the home position. Okay, it is ready. For calibration, for scanning this part, uh, you can see it. For scanning this part, I need a depth. And for, uh, let me place this part here. For obtaining a, a depth for our calibration range, uh, I want to place the turntable and my calibration panel in three different positions here, here, and here to have better depths for calibration. First of all, I calibrate my scanner at the middle position here. First, let's uh, bend the calibration panel for 20 degrees backward. Here, I need to train and press the rotation button. Okay, now calibration panel is in a good angle for calibration. Now let's use a script for automatic calibration. I already prepared an script for uh, calibration. Here I select it and I run it. You can see software automatically take photos and rotate the table to obtain uh, several photos from different angles fine and uh, the first set of uh, calibration photos uh, are taken at the middle distance for the turntable now i bring the turntable and my calibration panel uh, toward the a scanner setup for taking the second set of calibration photos running the script again for each set uh, I determine in the script uh, for the software to take only three photos Okay, and for the third set of calibration photos, I take the turntable and the calibration pattern at a more far distance from my scanner setup and run the uh, script again. And now I want to take the fourth set of photos at this distance and run the script again. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now eleven models are taken and uh, the software is ready to be calibrated. I use the 15 millimeter calibration panel and I'm placing the calibration panel and the object at a distance about one meter from the scanner setup. Now I'll press the calibration button. My scanner is calibrated uh, fastly in less than I think less than one second. The coverage is not very good, but it is not important for me because I'm not placing my object out of the discalibrated area. My object is exactly on my turntable, which is here, not here, out of calibrated area. So I'm not taking care about these black surfaces on these two autos. Okay, all things is good. I click on OK. You can see I'm placing my calibration panel and turntable at a distance about 1 meter. OK, now let me return back my turntable and calibration panel at its first position and reset the turntable to its home position. OK, it is ready. Now, for a scanning, I want to first bring down the head of my scanner, a little bring down it. We have to calibrate the turntable too. Now, I want to calibrate the turntable. Turntable calibration, here we click here, and we are using calibration mode, so I click this button and continue. So for a start uh, calibration process, the rebel point turntable for the horizontal axis it can rotate more than plus and minus 30 degrees. So in the setting uh, we have determined the setting limitation for our turntable and so far will not rotate it more than this limitation. It took uh, five photos here and here it is good and calibrating the second axis. Okay, now the turntable is calibrated and ready to use. Uh, I want to show you something in the settings. Go to the table here. Here I uh, selected the rubber point turntable, and here you can see the setting for rubber point turntable. The dual axis rubber point turntable always you have the number of fifty for calibration decrease, not more than this number, because this turntable only can uh, rotate uh, plus and minus thirty degrees. And for rotary delay, we have to use a number about 3000, not less. Okay, uh, here I want to show you another thing. I'm using my hardware triggering and uh, synchronization circuit. Here you can see it is enabled. So in the project, uh, in the project tab, I can set post pattern and post delays to zero. And software will take the photos correctly and fastly. Each uh, capturing time is uh, less than one uh, second. Now for scanning my object. Here my object. Uh, for enhancing the scanning process, I want to place my object on a temporary linking part. This is a piece of wood. I want to place my main part on this uh, temporary part to bring it up and create an offset from the turntable. So, here you can see it better. So, I place my, my main part on it. Yes. And now, let me place it on the turntable. This is the uh, calibration pan. I'm placing it here and uh, placing the object on the turntable and don't touch the turntable a lot and if you move it around uh, you will uh, expire its calibration so uh, take care about the process and how you are going to place your object on it i think it's ready now let me uh, do a test scan 
Do you hear this again? Yes, it is good. And you can see the capturing time is 0 0.98 seconds. This is less than one second. And this is because I am using my hardware rigging and synchronization circuit. My scan is a, a little noisy, not a lot, and this noise is, uh, will be covered in the finalization process, uh, but uh, this noise is, is related to, uh, to the resolution of my uh, projector and also the distance I place the object on it. Uh, it is not important for me, uh, it will be better after finalization. For uh, automating uh, scanning, I already uh, prepared and a script here I choose the scan script and then run it. so for a start a scanning and driving the turntable automatically to finish the scan process after some few minutes you will receive a full mesh data Second axis is tilted and uh, so far is taking the second set of scans. Uh, it is returning to the home position and the scan has been done successfully and uh, it is ready you can see now we select all of the scans and uh, apply a fine alignment on them okay you can see they are perfectly uh, aligned yes very good now I can uh, remove the unnecessary meshes and betas first I have to unlock them then removing the unnecessary agent very good Uh, it is good and now I can merge and finalize them select all of them and finalize uh, okay Yes, the scan is ready. You can see the back surface of this object is only an offset uh, from its front surface. No need to scan its back. Okay. No, this is uh, the scan process on the dual axis rebel point turn table. You saw. You can control the turntable via the GUI manually or control uh, it via the scripts for uh, automatic uh, scanning and calibration. Yes. Thank you for watching.